Hey guys, Sugar Ashley here. I am here with my part three, four of my July book haul. Um, I didn't think I was going to get any more books. Every time I say that, I always get more. Um, but I really didn't think I was going to get any more. And then I went to the book outlet by my house. And I went to Savers, Target, and I sold some books to Sharon Holler. So go over her page. She'll have her book haul up. Um, and I got an Amazon gift card. So these are from Savers, Amazon, Target, and the book outlet by my store. Um, I'll start with the Target books first. I went there yesterday um, because my boyfriend Andrew got a job, so I didn't want to be home, so I decided to go to Target and see what they had. And I picked up Every Day by David Levithan. Um, this sounded really good. I've read part of another David Levithan book, uh, Dash and Lily's Book of Dears. I didn't like it. I think it was because Rachel Cohen wrote it. And I didn't like the way she wrote it, but this sounds really good. It's about this guy, this kid. It says, every day a different body, every day a different life, every day in love with the same girl. So it sounds really good. I got it for $7. Then I picked up, because I'm in such a contemporary mood lately, guys. And everybody says she's the queen of contemporary. So I picked up a Sarah Dessen book. They had one there in the new cover. And it's What Happened to Goodbye. I got it for $7.99, um, and this is just about a girl who, um, let me see, a new day, a new place, a new life. She travels a lot, I think, to different schools. She pretends to be somebody every time, and love and stuff, and I don't know. Just sounded really good. <laughs> then I got three books from Amazon from Shannon. I got the sequel, well, I think it's a companion novel to Anna and the French Kiss, and that's Lola and the Boy Next Door. I went to the book outlet by my house, they actually had this book in the old cover, and because I'm such a book nerd, I didn't get it, because it wouldn't have matched on my shelf. <laughs> but that's what that one is. I'm going to read Anna first, and then read that one. Then, one of the people I follow on Twitter, can't think of her name, she had read this for the book tube and said it was really good, so I definitely want to pick it up. It's the Statistical Probability of love at first sight and it's such a small but cute book it spans over 24 hours these two people I guess fall in love at an airport and it sounds really good and I got this for like eight bucks on Amazon and then I got Catching Jordan by Miranda Canelli I think love the cover it had all the stickers on it so it's still stickery a little bit uh, this is about a girl she is a the captain of her football team and a new guy comes and he's the quarterback and she likes him but how does she she wants to get a scholarship so how does she keep how does it say can she keep her head in the game while her heart's on the line it was three dollars and sixty cents on Amazon and it sounded really good it's cute love the cover so that's what I got off of Amazon and then book outlet by my house I got take me there by Carolyn Dean um, on the run and headed nowhere. This is a bad boy. He's on the run from criminal record. She goes along with him. It's a road trip -y thing. It sounds really good. So I picked it up. And it was like $3, I think. Then I got It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. And because I'm such a book nerd again, they had It Will Always Have Summer, but it was in hardback. So this is the paperback. The other one I have is a paperback. And I want them to match on my shelf. So I have to pay them more money and get the paperback on Amazon. But that's that book. And then I got a Sophie Kinsella book off of eBay. Uh, I'll try to look at my shelf. Something, please. Something about number. I forgot what it is. Can I have your number? Or something like that. And this is another book by her. And it is Can You Keep a Secret? They had it there for five bucks. I was so happy. I was going to order this off Amazon. Um... And it's about this girl and this guy and their airplanes going down, she thinks. And she tells him all his secrets and come to find out he's actually her boss at her new job. So, holy crap. <laughs> it sounds good. Then I picked up Babe in Boyland by Jody German. Love the cover, so cute. It says, what do guys really think? This girl is a love guru for her school paper 
and she's kind of fallen into a slump. She doesn't know what to write, like how to address these issues that are coming across in the newspaper. So she dresses up as a guy for one week to go to a boys' school and find out what happens, but she falls in love with one of the boys. And it reminds me so much of the... I don't know if you guys know, the one with Amanda Bynes in it. I can't think what it's called. She dresses up as a boy. I can't remember, but that's what it sound, sounded like. And it was cute. I think that was like four bucks. And the last book I picked up, I've never read a Jodi Picoult book. Shannon told me this book was phenomenal. And you'll never guess what I got it for. Okay, this is Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer Between the Lines. A hardback. Brand new almost. I just had a rip right here that I had to re replace. Where is it? The rip right here. I got this for 50 cents at the book outlet. 50 cents for a hardback copy which was normally twenty dollars fifty cents I was so happy then I went to Savers I started doing a little bit of Christmas shopping early um, I got Shannon a book I got her Rapture I think by Lauren Kate um, and then I picked up a few books for myself um, another book I picked up I bought it off of like Craigslist type thing it is American Born Chinese you've already seen it I just it's on my shelf so I haven't got it in front of me but I picked up Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Peffer. I had this book before. I tried reading it and I didn't like it. But I wanted to give it another shot. And then I've never read an Agatha Christie book. And I heard she, or he says she, she is really good at mysteries. And so I picked this one up and it's the ABC Murders. And I like the cover. It was cute. That's what she looks like. And it's small, so eventually I'll be reading that. Then I've been really into graphic novels after reading American Born Chinese. So I picked up this one, Drama, by Rihanna something. They had this book at Target, Smile. But I got this for like $1.99. That's what the pictures look like. So I'm going to be reading that soon. Then I had this on my wish list for a while, and then they had it there, so I picked it up. And that's The Water Wars by... Cameron, I don't know how to say her last name, and it says, Welcome to the world where water is more precious than oil or gold. So it sounds good, dystopian, so if I'm in a mood for a dystopian, this was on my bookshelf, on my wanted list, I wrote for like ever, so when I saw it there, I picked it up. Then I picked up Living a Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. I can't remember whose channel I saw this on, but it sounded good. And it's a short book, and it says the thing is you can, the thing is you can get used to anything you think you can't. You want to die, but you don't. You won't. You just are. It says this is Alice. She was taken by Ray five years ago. She thought she knew how her story would end. She was wrong. But it sounds really good, and it was in perfect condition. Then the last book I got, I was so excited to see there because I was going to buy it full price at. Walmart or Target, and they had it there for, I think it was $2.99, and that's The Abundance of Catherine by John Green. There was the rest of the books. I read The Faults in Our Stars. I had Paper Towns. I read a little bit of it, and then I gave it to Shannon. I have not read we, uh, Looking for Alaska, but I wanted The Abundance in Catherine in this cover. I didn't want the one with all the girls on it. And this just says, 19 Catherines and counting. Well, when it comes to relationships, Colin Singleton's type is a girl's name, Catherine. And when it comes to girls named Catherine, Colin is always getting dumped. 19 times to be exact. On a road trip miles from home, is it just a road trip and then he finds a Catherine and he's hoping that this girl will be the final one that he'll fall in love with. Sounds really good. It was in good condition and I wanted it. Whew. So that is all the books. I am not going to hold them up because we knew what happened last time. When I hold all the books up, they all fell. Um... I just finished this book, Saga, the third one. I just finished this. I got it at the library. Um, so that will be in my July wrap-up. And like I always say, guys, you know, keep calm and read on. And I will see you guys back with another video, my wrap-up, and then a August haul because I'm getting Let's Get Lost and a Colin Hoover books coming out, Ugly Love, which I'm so excited because I love... Colleen Hoover. Like, if you've never read a Colleen Hoover book, read it. You will love her. Van frickin' tastic. 
All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's hot. Whew, and I will talk to you guys later. Keep calm, read on. Bye, guys.